So the different properties of different parts of the body depend on the activities of this, these different genes. So this gray gene causes this gray part of the body to have certain properties, okay? So that was, that was insects. And then it turned out same story for us, or this is a mouse embryo, but it's the same for us. Uh, we can claim some superiority because we have multiple copies of the cluster of genes, like backups, but, and there, some of them are incomplete copies. But anyway, it's the same deal. The genes are active in, along the head-to-tail axis of the animal in the order that they are in the chromosome. What do they do in us? They don't put wings on any of our segments even when you mutate them. So what do they do? Well, they control all sorts of things. They control the pattern of your digits, the patterns of your toes, the difference between your digits and toes, the differences between your vertebrae, the differences between different parts of the brain, differences in different parts of the skin. They form like an informational map that direct differences in structure across the body, mostly, but not always, along this head to tail kind of axis. So.